All right, let's talk about this not both business. Now, in order to discuss not both A and B, we actually have to talk about the A or B statement. Now, the thing to remember about A or B is that it always implies or both. So if I tell you you can have steak or lobster, really what I'm telling you is that you can also have both as an option. For instance, I am either holding a marker or I am holding a blue pen. Well, if I'm holding a marker or I'm holding a blue pen, as it turns out, I'm holding both without really violating the truth value of that particular statement. So keep this in mind. Or is always going to imply or both when we talk about it in terms of formal logic. In, in fact, any time you see an or, what you're really looking at is this, A or B, or both A and B. And of course, this part is understood. It's implied, always. So anytime you see in a logic game or a formal or a logical reasoning problem, something, 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 or something, something, something else, or both, this part is redundant. Let me give you an example. Let's take it back to that uh, illustrious and fancy restaurant, the Red Lobster. You go into a Red Lobster and the head waiter greets you again. And he says, well, welcome back, sir. Today, I am pleased to announce we have restocked our steak and lobster. Yesterday, I know you could, I told you you could have neither steak nor lobster. And of course, you weren't able to order either one of those. You couldn't have steak and you couldn't have lobster. However, today, says our ebullient head waiter, you can have steak or you can have lobster for the low, low price of $19.95. Well, after sitting down and consulting with your date, you look the head waiter in the eye and you tell him, my good man, I will have them both for the low, low price of $19.95. And don't charge me twice. I want them both for the one low price of $19.95. The head waiter, flabbergasted and flummoxed and poleaxed or something, will look at you and try to argue his way out of this, telling you, well, I didn't mean you to have them both for the one low price of $19.95. At which point, you'll have to remind him with your keen logic of why, in fact, you should be entitled to both for the low, low price. You can hold up your fork, and you can hold up your knife, and you can look that head waiter in the eye, and you can go, sir, I'm either holding a fork or I'm holding a knife. And as it turns out, I'm holding both. Well, at that point, the waiter, terrified, will have to cave under the pressure of your irrefutable logic, and he'll have to bring you both the steak and the lobster for the one low, low price of $19.95. Because as it turns out, you can, in fact, have one thing or another thing while also having them both. So, when we talk about ors, just to refresh your memory, it will always be an inclusive or. If you see A or B or both, just remember, the or both part is redundant. It doesn't have to be written out, and in fact, this is sufficient for A or B or both. 